Hi everybody, it's Donna here and I'm here with a um, just a video on my teacup and teapot um, inspirational fabric kit. So um, I'll just go over it real quick. It's going to be in my Etsy shop and I'll put the link I'll put the link below um, on this for you. Um, but this is how it's going to come. You can see it's a lot of uh, we've got a lot of fabric in here and um, I've got everything wrapped up in this pretty lace. There's over two yards of this lace that's going to be in the kit. It's all, you know, uh, wrapped up in that. And then on the top of that, you've got a couple of fabric flowers here that come right off that you can use those in a project as well. So let me get started. I've got one that I don't have wrapped up that I can show you some of the pieces. So to start, um, I'm going to start with the teapots because really this is what inspired me to put this kit together of things to make. So what this is, is this is fabric. Um, these are fabric and I have them on felt. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a significant, um, and it's, it's somewhat sturdy, but flexible. Um, so anyway, this is the first, uh, and, and I'll tell you this, all the teapots in the kits, uh, most, there's, I don't know, I think there's like four different types of teapots. I've got pink ones, I've got, um, I've got floral ones, I've got, I haven't even done some, I've got a blue one that I haven't even done yet. But anyway, um, so you'll see them, and they do match um, these cups too, some of them. So anyway. Um, but we'll start with this. So this is a green one. And if I bring it up close, all the design that you see here, 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 this here, and right around there is all in gold. So it's a very shiny, you know, it's a shiny metallic gold. Um, but very vintagey. So this is the first thing. And you're going to see against my hand just how big it is. Okay, it's a good size. Um, so that's the teapot. There's one pot that comes in every kit. Then you're going to get three cups, except one kit has two cups, but it's one of the uh, cups is a stack of three cups. So you'll be able to see in the pitches when you take a look at it. But anyway, so here is the next tea. Uh, this is the next one. This is a teacup. Again, we have, hmm, okay, I want to make sure it's, you can see it okay. We have gold around here. We have gold on the handle. And all this design here is in gold again. So there's a lot of that gold metallic on these. They really are quite pretty. And again, up close, you can see the backing, which is just a, a stiff felt. It's not, it's not the flimsy felt. It's a very stiff felt. Okay. The next one, this one matches the pot. And this teacup is in green. And you can see that again, all this, all this stuff, it's all in gold. Okay, that one matches. The next one is a floral teacup. And this um, has some gold throughout, but it's mostly floral, but it does, you know, it is highlighted with some gold. So, this that one. Then I have, um, a couple of saucers. So this first one actually kind of matches that last um, teacup I just put up. It's the floral. Okay, it's just a saucer. And I have this one here, which also matches the pink one. And again, it's uh, the pink with the gold all the way around. Uh, let's see. In terms of embellishments, I'll go over these pretty quick. It comes in a little bag, and I have two types of, and I think, I believe it's a foot of each, uh, although now they're crinkled up, um, the seam binding. And I have a peachy pink color here of crinkle seam binding, and I have, I call this a cameo. It's almost the color of like a shell cameo. It's a very light, creamy color. So you can see the contrast between, I think, I hope you can between the two colors. So you'll get a yard each of that. Okay. And then 
I've made a couple of flowers to go in here also. Um, these are just uh, on um, a lace little applique. And I've put a satin, and this is kind of a beige, tanny satin um, rosebud. And it is attached. You can take it off if you want. You know, with a little heat, that'll come right off, and you can use it for something else. Um, so there's that one. And then we also have this one here, which is a, um, it's like a peach, a light peachy, creamy colored. Same thing. It's on the same little back lace applique. And again, this can come off too if you wanted it to come off. It's totally up to you. But there they are. So they make a, a couple of pretty little things. Um, let me just adjust this. That's probably better. Um, other embellishments in, in the bag here, we have um, a couple of flat back pearls. I think one's peach, one's green. Right there, you can see those. Oops. I've got a very large pearl. I've got a smaller pearl um, that you can stitch on or whatever. This is one of the these... Um, Actually, there's 10, uh, not 10, there's one of these each. Um, I'm hoping that will focus. That's not focusing too well. There we go. Um, it's got uh, rhinestones all the way around, and it's black, and it's quite shiny. It's one of those, I don't know what they call it, druzy, I don't know, something, centered. So um, there's one of those in black. Let's see. I've got a little button here. I thought these were cute. Um, actually it looks like it has a crest on the button in gold and the button itself is um, silver. I don't know if you can see that crest there. But anyway, so that's kind of cute. I've got a piece of uh, bling here. It's just one rhinestone. Uh, vintage looking with a loop at the top so you can either stitch it on or glue it, whichever. There we go. Okay, I wonder if that, let me try that button again that close. That might be, might have to get it that close. There we go, now you can see the crest on that button. Okay, um, this is a bead, it's a glass bead. It has a little, um, like a little rosebud on it. Uh, let me just put it behind here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it better against a white background. You can see. It's a frosted glass with a, a little rosebud in the center and some green leaves. I've got a piece of, um, just a piece, a little pearl with some bling on it here to be added to whatever. Um, this is a, a button, you can see the little holes, but it is very sparkly in silver. And because it's a tea um, pot and teacup set, I have, oops, um, a couple of charms, a couple of silver charms to go along with it. So these are... Um, also, you know, you can stitch them on or glue them, whatever. So those are some of the little embellishments that go with the kit. Now, I also have um, a Drink Me because it is a tea set, and this is like a, a vintage tea tray. It says Drink Me, and it's uh, printed on fabric. I did leave the paper backing on it, so you can take it off or you can... Um, you know, glue it right on with the paper backing on. Um, it's up to you. And let's see. In terms of laces, so you have that gray lace that I showed you that comes wrapped up. Two yards of that. You've got a yard of this lace. Okay, this is about, I'm going to say, it's, it's got to be at least three and a half inches. Um, I think you can see the pattern pretty well um, right there. And that is a whole yard of that. Got a whole yard of that lace. Um, 
This is another lace that I have, and this is about, mm, I'd say 11 inches, 10 or 11 inches on this. A bunch of medallions. Um, again, you can see the pattern pretty good here against the red um, mat. Here is another one. This is about a foot also. Um, it is a gathered lace, and it's about one one foot in length, and it's probably two inches wide. The next one is a beige or ecru uh, lace. This is um, a yard, so you get a full yard of this. Let me see if I can bring it up closer so you can see the pattern. Okay. And so that's, this is this is one of my favorite laces. Um, so that's more of a tan colored lace. You're going to get four doilies. Uh, this doily is just a, a white white, which you can see. And there's the pattern on that. It has a little center to it that you can cut out or leave. This one is a handmade doily. It's hand crocheted. And I know that because I bought the bedspread um, at a thrift shop and it had the unfinished pieces and so this is one of the unfinished pieces and it also had the um, the embroidery thread as well so I have all that but that's what this is and that is a handmade piece in a beige. I have another white one this is about a I guess you could say it's probably it's probably a two and a half well, no, it's, it's about a three inch most of these are three um, three and a half, three, three and a half, maybe four inches. So this is a smaller one in white. Okay. And this one is a beige and this is like my favorite because it's very lacy and it is a light beige, but it is a very lacy, um, doily. So those are four doilies that come with the kit. You're also going to get um, a wedding dress applique here and I've got that against that white background um, so that you can see that this one is tea dyed some of them are some of them aren't they are a little different but when you click on the kits if you'd like to purchase one you'll see that each one has um, different um, fabrics as well and I'll go through that quickly in just a second so this is it it's on a netting so you just fussy cut around, it's ready to go, and they're beautiful. Um, you can see that there. Ooh, I'm going to lose bead. Um, okay, so let's get to the fabrics. The fabrics are about 10 and a half inches um, this way in width and in length. I want to say they're 22 inches or so. Anyway, this is the first fabric. It is a gold fabric pattern this is going to pick up on the teacups just great because there's a lot of gold in those teacups a metallic gold and as well as in this fabric so if I just do this you might be able to see it glisten but it is a very pretty fabric and I thought if you make flowers and make um, a rolled flower twisted flower I think these would make beautiful flowers that that color that particular pattern. This pattern, um, this particular one has little red um, rosebuds and little bluebirds, and the bluebirds are upside down. I guess it won't matter anyway because they're flying all different directions here. But anyway, it's um, very pretty little bluebirds and um, little roses, um, flowers. Again, these are all about the same in terms of um, sizes and lengths and all. This next one is vintage looking. It has um, lace coming down here and here. Um, and if I open it, this is just another lace here in. It's just a blue lace. The other is lace on a blue background. But just so you can see the pattern, it's got... Um, it's like a Wedgwood blue, and it's got all the different colors, the peaches. There are, there are some um, 
yellow in there, a little bit of yellowy gold, more like a harvest gold type. Um, and you've got, let's see here, all the way across, you've got some, I mean, you can cut these strips out and use them. You can cut the laces out separately and use them. This out, you can just, I mean, there's so much you can do with this fabric. So um, and that's that one. And there's, a, you know, there's even like a pink stripe there. And yeah, you can see a little bit of polka dot on that pink stripe. So there's that one. Then we have a green. This is kind of just a green solid. It's a crepey fabric. Um, but it goes very well because there's a lot of green in the backgrounds of those. It's a solid. I figured we had to have one solid. This is an interesting fabric. I love this fabric. This is one of my favorites. They're like little sweetheart rosebuds. And um, it's seersucker. So how cute is that? Anyway, that's on a white background, white, white. And the last one, um, it's kind of an interesting fabric, and it is chandeliers. And as you can see, I don't want to get the glare. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. Um, but as you can see, there are different chandeliers, different shapes, sizes, all over this. And this is, again, kind of a wedgewoody blue, which picks up on the other fabric, and it's got a cream background. Um, I think it's a Pella Studio. It says Wild Apple. Um, but it was an interesting pattern, so I thought, you know, that would be kind of interesting also so that's it that is the kit um, like I said it's on my Etsy shop I will put a link um, in the description box below and uh, so if you think it's something that you would like to pick up um, all these pieces that go to it please do I only have six of them right now I not sure if I'm going to make more, but I do have the capability of it. I've got lots of fabric, and I've got some different types of teapots, too, um, as well. But anyway, so that's it for now. I'm going to be doing another video shortly um, with the wedding dress applique. Um, not wedding dress applique. The full wedding dress giveaway, actually. And um, so I'm going to be doing that uh, kind of like... An update uh, I've received some entries already and I want to get those out so um, you know the gals can see them as well and I haven't opened them I mean I've opened the package but I haven't pulled them out so I'll do that on camera and that is about it so that's it for now bye bye